Peace. Once again, coming at you guys with another video. This time, this video is calculating credit card interest. Well, how to calculate credit card interest. Now, calculate, this is the formula right here where you calculate credit card interest. For those of you who don't know what that is, your APR is, you have your APR and your DPR. Your APR is the annual percentage rate or annual periodic rate. The DPR is the daily periodic rate. They two different functions. I'll get into them as we get into the formula of how to calculate this. All right. Now the formula for how to calculate your APR, your credit card interest rate, is um, you take your APR. So if you don't know where to find your APR, you can either call your credit card company. Or when you get the paperwork to file a credit card or to fill out for a credit card or they send you your credit card, it's going to say what your APR is. And it's going to say if it's a variable, which means that it fluctuates, or if it's fixed, which means that it's set. Now, you take your APR, you divide it by 365, 365 days in a year. That'll give you your daily periodic rate, your EP, DPR. Now, the DPR is how much interest you're paying daily on the balance, all right? So now, let's get into, I'm going to give you an example so you guys can see how this rock. So you got a credit card and the limit is $1,000 and you have a $200 balance, right? So you owe $200 on the card. So let's say your APR is 15%. So now, you're going to divide your 15% by 365, which is going to give you 4 percent, basically 4 point one. You're going to this is going to count using the calculator. This is the numbers going to come out on the calculator. So you're just going to convert that into a percentage. You can either multiply it by 100 or move the dec decimal over two spaces to the right. So boom, boom, we bust it or move it over to the right. So your D your DPR daily periodic rate is 4.1 percent, right? So Every day, you'll be paying 4.1% on that $200 that you owe. Now, if you guys want to figure out how much is 4.1% of 200, calculate it. Do it yourself. That's how you'll find out what I just gave you the formula. And that's how you'll find out exactly what 4.1% of $200. So you'll know daily what it is you're paying on that money. Now, APR does not... It is different from interest rates. A lot of people kind of think that, you know, they may mis have a misunderstanding and think that the same thing, they're different. The interest rate is what it costs you, what the money is being sold to you for. Or the, you know, since it's like, if you get a mortgage or a car loan or whatever the case may be, and they give you whatever the number is, interest rate, that means that they selling that money to you for that interest rate, for that price, right? That's how much they charge you for that money. APR is different. APR is, along with the interest, you're talking about any kind of fees and charges that come along with facilitating you being able to get this credit or this loan. That's the difference with APR. So over a span of time. So that's what that's how they separate, separate separate. That's how they differ. You say that better. So the, the interest rate is the cost of the funds, and how much is going to cost you. APR is how much the, the funds and the fees and whatever kind of charges, whatever the costs are over a span of time to facilitate the fund, the money or the credit to you. So there you go once again. The interest rate, you can see calculating the interest rate, APR divided by 365 is going to give you a daily periodic rate. So now you guys know how to calculate the interest rate on your credit card to see how much you're paying. So when you buckling down in your books, you want to scale back, you'll, you'll realize when you're spending what, what is worth spending on and stuff like that. So it'll give you a little hindsight, in, I mean a little insight into dealing with money better. So you're looking to scale back things and stuff like that. But once again, this is just another video we present to you guys. You can check us out on YouTube with the 30 for 30. You know, the link on YouTube is Mr. Flip These Bricks. So you can follow us on Instagram and Mr. Flip These Bricks. All right. 
once again check this out credit you leverage your credit that leveraging your credit is will put you in a powerful position financially so you need to get this on cap and keep pushing to get your mind right before you get left all right